Well, I have the pleasure of being with Mr. Robert Prince, Chairman of the Comptable Board of Directors. How are you today? Uh, I'm fine. The pleasure's all mine. And uh, what transit authority are you CEO of? Can well, you tell us? I'm, I'm a retired CEO. <clears throat> I did 25 years at the MBTA, um, culminating as the general manager there. I see. Well, um, so what do you think about this year's conference? It's your 43rd annual. Seems like you have a very great turnout. Uh, what can we expect this weekend? Um, you can expect just greatness. Um, we've got um, great speakers. We've got a fabulous intern program here. Um, we are looking forward to um, taking this to the next level. This will be the best conference ever. Okay. Um, we've lost our leader. Yes. This will be the first conference uh, in Julie Cunningham's absence. Uh, what direction will Compto take? Uh, in Julie's absence, or is the uh, organization solid enough to keep going strong? I like to think that Julie's never absent. She's been in my mind, in my heart, um, always. And, you know, we changed the, the acronym now. It's WWJD, what would Julie do? You know, uh, so yes. we, um, she's left a tremendous legacy, and we're going to advance that legacy and make sure that not only do we make her proud, we, but we make Compto move. I'm in a positive direction so that it becomes um, one of the best organizations in the country. Can you tell me a little bit about Julie's legacy? Um, what would you say two or three of her crowning achievements were during her tenure? Well, she, she took th this organization and gave us uh, a seat at the table. Um, so not only were we focused on leveling the playing field, but a seat at the table and also a major focus on one of my, my passions was young people. Um, I always say, as the twig is bent, so grows the tree. The earlier we get these young people involved and let them know about the careers in transportation, the better off we are. And Shirley, uh, Julie was very in instrumental in that area, and so was Shirley, um, to make sure that we started to focus on young people in this particular area. And so, you know, um, Julie was the first person that, that made me write or publish a book because she, was, um, she, she had gotten the galley print and she decided that it was important to tell the story. I see. So I understand that uh, the book is called, um, I'm, I'm sorry, you have a poster here about the book. What is the name of the book going to be? Well, it's, it's the color of leadership right now, but we're looking for how we want to um, position this book. I did a book called Footprints in the Snow, which was about my career in the 25 years at the MBTA. This is a book about Compto and about um, not only the leaders in Compto, but what it's meant to a lot of people and how we have moved in the industry. I see. So what is it like for an African American in transportation and how does Compto um, help you all navigate some of the um, paths that you have to go down? Well, you know, Compto, taking me all the way back to the, in the 80s, uh, when Compto first came on, on became, I became aware of Compto. Um, it gave me an opportunity to, to, when I came up in Boston, if I was looking for a leader, especially one that looked like me, I had to look in the mirror because there wasn't any. And so what Compto did was it allowed me to meet other people in the industry um, and begin to have not only just a networking, but I call it uh, a kitchen cabinet. People you could pick up the phone and call and say, you know, am I crazy? Is this going on? Um, is this happening in your part of the world? Um, and it gave you a, a sense of you're not alone. And so Compto, for me, at the beginning, gave me that sense of, of belonging. And then as we began to grow, not only belonging, but um, as has been previously stated, the, the give back now. You know, when you got to a position, you know, no, you don't forget from whence you came, making sure that you bring up people along the way. I see. And so is that the mission of the Compto Leadership Institute that you'll be unveiling during this conference? Uh, absolutely. That and then some. Um, we want to make sure that we prepare the next leaders um, to, to, to lead this industry. It's a fabulous industry. There's a, there's a lot of potential here. Um, there's um, so much that people don't know, and they don't figure it out. I tripped into transportation. So, I mean, you want to have um, now giving people the basis and information so that they can slide in here at the, at the, at the, at the level as, a, as an intern, get a firm basis on what transportation really is, mm -hmm. and then move up into the C-suites. So how did you trip into transportation, as you say? Uh, well, you know, I was... I was building kitchens and designing bathrooms and, and in the construction industry um, after I got out of school. And um, I needed to have a job that had better insurance. <laughs> okay. and so um, I went to 
they, uh, my father-in-law happened to be a, a porter um, for the MBTA at the time. That was the best a black man could get in those days. And he said, you know, they're hiring bus operators. I said, okay. I said, um, great insurance um, and, a, and a retirement pro program. So um, in 25 years, um, if it had wheels on it, I drove it, okay. um, supervised it, and sat on both sides, both um, on the operations side and then on the management side. So I got to see the authority from the ground up. Um, I wasn't fortunate enough to move around uh, other properties. I stayed in one property for 25 years. Wow. So the theme this year is the movement continues um, developing historically underutilized businesses, um, hubs. Uh, what is the challenge for uh, minority-owned businesses to get transportation work and to be involved in major transportation projects? It's extremely important that when we talk about leveling the playing field, getting not just a piece of the pie, but you know, in some cases, joint venturing and getting a larger section, um, half of the pie or all the pie. The, the fact that we have not had this type of movement in, in many years, we have not gotten our piece of um, the building of the infrastructure of this country. And it is, if, if not when, then now is the time, you know, that we have to get um, our hubs educated and making sure that they understand what it is, making sure that we hold the, the DOT's feet to the fire so that the, the programs that are set aside for, for us, that they follow the rules and that the hubs that we, we train and, and educate, that they know the rules so that um, everybody here uh, understands that um, we are here and we're going to get our piece of the pie and making sure that we rebuild this country's infrastructure. I see. And finally, um, what's on the horizon for Compto as you enter your 43rd, 44th year? I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I, I think that what we're going to do is we're going to build on a legacy that, that has been entrusted to us through Julie. And we're going to continue to make this, um, as they say, from good to great. It's going to be great. Wonderful. Well, thank you for your thank time. Thank you. Appreciate it.